why do pro players opponents look like stupid alrighty boys today I'm gonna show you guys about the art of the scare which I feel like is one of the tips I don't really I haven't seen that go around very often um I tried seeing if anybody's made a topic off of this before I made my own and I couldn't find anything I don't know if I didn't search hard enough for it um but it's the art of the scare this like skill is something you kind of have to keep in the back of your mind at all times it's very in-depth and weird but it has helped me improve a lot i i took a really long break from this game and once i started thinking about the scare i may have even gotten better while not playing the game at all just from this theory on its own something you should also work on as well this one should be way easier to find tips on i don't even need to look it up because it's a pretty common thing is spacing um that'll help a lot with this the better you are at spacing the better your scare factor will be i guess okay what i mean by the art of the scare this can get, be super simple but it can also be super complex so let's say my opponent isn't dodging right i'm constantly going for dodge reads or something right but bro isn't dodging so one great way to start the scare is just to combo him until he dodges right that's the simple like of it this can be taking place in neutral and on hit so we're gonna scare him into dodging so we're gonna make him scared of what i can do and oh now he's scared of you know getting hit by me so now he's gonna go for a what's it called and i can try to you know react or read it right super simple Super simple, something you should definitely take note of is whether your opponent has been scared by you yet on hit. Because, like, moves like this, like, if you can get that on a kill because your opponent isn't scared of end light, suddenly, you know, maybe this will work and I can net a kill off of it. But it also works in neutral. I think the on hit is probably the easiest, most simplest form of this for you to understand. In neutral, it's a bit different. So when I'm off stage and he's up there, I hold zero scare. I'm not scary at all. When I'm over here, he's scared of maybe this, right? So this is decently reactable. So spacing in, being a little closer to him, being like here, bro is scared. I can hit him with a, just a normal, a raw side light. So he's in my zone. Do keep in mind, I do also have to be careful of his zones. The scare goes both ways. Me being here, I'm scary. Me being over here, I'm still scary, but I have to dash like this. When he's in that corner, he is not very scary because what can the bot do in this situation but go off stage? If he goes off stage, you know, he's limited on movement, right? So he's gonna wanna stay on stage more than likely, maybe jump off like this. But the options I have, are way more powerful here in the center because I, I can either choose to approach or I can choose to sit here and if he decides to attack me if he chooses to dash side sig or something I can just back dash I can I have this whole stage to run away but I also can you know make him not want to do that in the sense that I punish him you're gonna have to keep in mind where you're at on the stage and all of that good jazz now another thing to keep in mind is the off stage scaring your opponent off stage is insane so that way you know they don't just get hit for really hard this is what like no scare looks like bro can just come back it doesn't matter how he comes back bro can just choose to use his movement to come back so going off stage even if you're not comfortable off stage is a skill you need to learn like need to so that way he has to think about the options and i don't always need to commit off stage i can sometimes just dance just go over there just make them you know question whether i'm gonna commit or make them question if i'm just making them waste a movement and sometimes when i go off stage i'm just waiting for an option maybe i'm waiting for the bot to dodge in or something you know specific moves get scarier when they're used because you have to think about the move. A move that never gets thrown out suddenly no longer exists. Volkov, his kit is scary. You don't even have to hit this Tezka. You could literally do this. 
And now this Tezka, while he punishes you, if this guy, instead of just standing here, standing still earlier, which the Tezka did because I, I mean, I told the Tezka to, but if the Tezka didn't just stand still here, would have maybe dashed forward into it or something. So now for the rest of this game, this Tezka has to play scared of this zone. This Volkov doesn't have to spam the signature. In fact, it's scarier if he doesn't. Because if you're doing this, waiting for the signature to happen, and the Volkov isn't throwing it out. Instead, it's throwing out like a, a Nair or something. Or just like a jump stair, end light, using movement, instead of just going like whoosh. Suddenly, this Tezka has to play around this zone. Play up here, play afraid of side sig. It doesn't exactly reap the benefits of him sig spamming side sig because it's predictable jumping behind, jumping above, and getting like a punish shit like that, right? Instead, he's playing here while you're not even throwing out the move and you're just playing normally. All you have to do is just remind him of it. So making your opponent scared of moves is a good thing. First game on ranked for the day. Um and slowly but surely you will see how I assert the scare on this guy. So Already, you can see how he scared me. So right off the rip, I am holding in on this guy as much as possible. I'm trying to play as aggressive as possible. Aggression, I believe, has a higher skill ceiling than passive play. But I am constantly holding in towards him. He's not letting me get away with it. So I'm just at least taking that moment to back off. Another wake up, he shuts down. So he is already asserting some form of scare on me just from how much he's attacking, right? So he's got me off stage. Beautiful. Okay. That was that was embarrassing. I actually think I drop a D-Light recovery this game. It, it just shows that you don't need to hit the bread and butters to be good. Alrighty, I'm playing a little playing a little scared, but I'm staying to the ground because I know Lance kills better if it's on the ground. Um in the air. So like I have to avoid side airs especially. Like that. But bro right now is he's scared of so earlier, I hit him with a side air. Earlier, I hit this guy with a side air. I actually think it was right here. And you saw right here. This is just a very faint moment of it. It's very, fairly insignificant. But this guy is like staying so far away. He's playing scared of Sarah already. Sometimes it's that simple. Just one little thing to remind somebody. And that's why I'm a big fan of sigging a lot more than never. <laughs> like letting those sigs fly, if you feel like it's going to land is worth. Just catching him for random dodges near. So off of this near, I did so much. I didn't quite get the hit off of it. But I hit him here and then I jumped at him. Making him think I'm going to follow up some more. So maybe I should dodge. Kind of just waiting. See what he's going to do. And we made him dodge up. I was mostly focusing on the low dodges. Because if he dodges low, I can punish that. Kind of. But if he goes high, I can react to it and get a landing. Um, I do believe I react terribly. I expected a fast fall. But there we go. He's so just doing something like this, something like this, where he hits me. So earlier he was kind of getting away from it, but right there, now he's going to be less confident about when he can, you know, follow up a combo on me, right? Got a read from earlier. I showed him I'm not scared of continuing the combo off stage, which is super important. That way your opponent does feel like every input they do matters boom he painting dodged in he does not want to be off stage against me just from one interaction i mean done anything crazy to him off stage i'm not even attacking and he, this bro this guy just jumped all around the map like he is he's panicking i mean yes he got the hit but you can already see the panic developing inside of him, and it's making him 10 times more easy to predict. And one thing I want to point out is you'll notice most of the time I position myself in a situation like this. Most of the time, it's better if you're below your opponent on stage and they're above you, so you can jump up with an attack whenever. So he has to be scared of me jumping. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't remember what happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if he jump dodges or uses a dodge somewhere here. Um, just because this position's scary. I think he can get hit by a D-Light here. If not, he's scared to jump there, jump Sare, maybe even like a jump D-Light or something, a gravity cancel, my end sig, a recovery, anything I do here is scary. So, 
he retaliates with an attack of his own, but I get out of the way and I punish it. Super easy. I thought he was going to play it safe and go to the wall, which is a very common panic move. But you can already see just how this stock, I'm exerting so much pressure just from staying near him and below him. Then we get the dodge. We got the, the panic dodge. We had a feeling he didn't want to go off stage. That's a way because we were center stage. He doesn't want to go off stage, but that's on stage. So he does not, he does not want to contest me. And I, I think I've contested this guy off stage like twice this game, but you can see that he does not want to fight me. And since he doesn't really want to fight me, it makes my getting back to stage super easy. Even if he has a guarantee. You have a guaranteed ground pound here, which is a guaranteed kill. And he's scared to commit to it. Look, look, this guy's just throwing out moves. You can see how scared this guy is. Scaring your opponent causes him to act like this. This is why I've heard um a lot of like gold players, my boy Gat used to say this all the time. Why, why do... Pro players' opponents look, like, stupid. Why do they look bad at the game? And it's not because they're bad at the game. They're way better than you and better than most of the player base. But the their opponent has scared them so much. This guy looked like a gold player at the end. This guy's diamond. He's He stopped acting like it. Jump ground pounds on Lance. Like, that, that doesn't happen much in diamond. I'm not gonna act like it's non-existent. But, like, bro, did, did we see how far he hit me over here? I am way over here. He's so scared of me. He's attacking up here. 